Hi everyone, thanks for checking out our video for WaffleMakersHub.com and today we are going to be reviewing the Black & Decker Double Flip Waffle Maker. So this waffle maker makes two waffles at once and it's still a flip waffle maker so it'll be pretty interesting to see how they come out. They are Belgian waffles so that means they're extra thick and should be really nice and crispy. So we're going to go ahead and plug our machine in and see how this Black & Decker Double Flip Waffle Maker works. Okay, so I took the Black & Decker Double Flip Waffle Maker out of the box and before I plug it in and get started, the directions do say that the tray is non it's not non-stick, so that means the waffles might stick. So it recommends that we either spray the waffle iron plates or we coat them with some olive oil with just a paper towel or uh, also vegetable oil or canola oil will work great. So I'm going to go ahead and season both sides of the plates and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I rubbed a little vegetable oil on both of the waffle iron plates. So the waffle maker is now ready to go. I plugged it in and the indicator light went on. This is just an indicator light for when the waffle maker is hot. So it's supposed to turn green once it's heated up. It doesn't tell you when the waffles are done. So it should turn on and off throughout the baking process of the waffles. But don't worry, that just means that the waffle maker is still just keeping its temperature the same. So the light's on right now, so we're still waiting. We have our amazing waffle batter ready to go next to our waffle maker here. You can find that recipe on our website, wafflemakershub.com. So let's take a look at the waffle maker while we're waiting for it to heat up. So it has this um, heat resistant handle, which has an arrow which shows you which direction it flips. So it flips over, spins right over, and also has a lock right here. So to open the waffle maker, you have to pull the lock open, and it stays open, and then you lift up the side. And there is one of the plates, nice, thick, deep Belgian waffles. You close it. And if you flip it over, there is the part where you put the second waffle. So it looks exactly the same. So you can make two waffles at once. And you just snap it shut when you're done. It does have a drip tray that comes right out. So you can wash this either in the um, dishwasher or just by hand. But that'll catch any batter that drips over. So it should stay nice and clean. And we're going to wait for that light to go on and pour in some of our waffle batter. Okay, so the green light went on, which means our waffle iron is hot. So I'm going to just open up this handle, pull up the waffle maker, nice steam coming out, and pour in some of the batter. So I just get it all nice and even around the waffle iron plates. And then I'm going to close the iron. The, oh, it went over the edge, so it was a little too much batter. Good thing for that drip tray. So I'll close it and lock it so that the waffle iron doesn't open up and I'm gonna flip it over to put in our other waffle. The directions recommend waiting 10 seconds before flipping it to start the other waffle. So it should be about 10 seconds now. So I'll go ahead and flip it over. I'll open up this one. Do the same thing on this side. Maybe a little less batter this time. Some more batter here. More than that, right? <laughs> Okay, and I'll close that one and wait. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the waffle maker and open it up. And those look like some really nice waffles. The batter did go over a little bit, but it was all caught by the drip tray, so there's no mess there. I'm going to go ahead and try to lift them out, and hopefully they don't stick since I rubbed the plates down with the vegetable oil before cooking. And then we'll cut into them and see how they look. So our waffles are super crispy, so maybe if you like waffles that are a little softer, maybe you only cook them for three minutes. Since there's no temperature dial on this waffle maker, it's a little difficult to judge when they're done, so you kind of have to open it up and see. So this is the bottom of the waffle, but if you flip it over, it's actually a lot lighter on the other side. So I'm not sure if they actually cooked very evenly, since the top and the bottom are so much different. Um, the bottom waffle maker, the bottom waffle, from the other side of the waffle maker came out exactly the same. So we did get two waffles in the time that it usually takes to cook one. So I cut into the waffle and it was nice and crispy and it has those deep Belgian waffle squares that'll catch all of your maple syrup. Looking pretty good. And this again is the Bel Black & Decker Belgian Waffle Maker Double Flip, which means you can make two waffles at one time and it flips right over. You can check out our full review at wafflemakershub.com and read how to make these great waffles and maybe buy one for yourself. So have a good day everybody. Thanks for watching.